in downtown Seattle. And it's time for our Discover matchup. In goal tonight, Elvis Merzlikens. And at the other end, Jody, is Philip Grubauer. Yeah, Grubauer, Vesna finalist as top goaltender of the National Hockey League. He's played a lot of hockey due to injury. Drieger did get activated off the IR today and look for him to get in there, but Grubauer's been taxed a little bit. They play a different system in front of him. He's not the reason for a lot of these losses, but he's a competitor and part of that leadership group. Matchup of top lines set for the opening faceoff. The Kraken in their home dark jerseys, jackets in their traveling lights were underway. Getter wins the draw, Jake Bean back, sends it around the boards. Everly unable to trap it. There's Hoffman on the left wing, Everly keeps it in with a backhand pass. Off the skate of Schwartz, jackets recover and bounce one out to center. Picked up here by Oliver Bjorkstrand with Hoffman. He'll toss it in deep, far side, Hoffman hustling to it. Tried to throw it in front, but there's Oleksiak. Oleksiak's pass knocked down by Bjorkstrand. Hoffman had a stick out at Everly. Along the right wing board, throws it into the left wing corner. McCann cannot get a stick on it. Giordano shot from a distance off the stick of Schwartz. Played by Everly, Giordano, Schwartz again. And there's Elvis with the stop. Well, quick start for this top line for the Seattle Kraken. That gives us a chance to get to the Toyota Keys tonight. And the Blue Jackets coming here on the road on the West Coast. Shift length, got to keep it short here. A little rotation. Get everybody into it, just keep things short and rolling. Establish and build, establish your game and build on it here tonight on the road. And strike and protect. You know what? Too many times they're letting the games get away from them. At certain periods, especially the first two periods of games, they've been outscored on the road. Get that goal and protect it. Bouncing puck sent here to Adam Larson. Larson risks in. Elvis out to trap it, he'll move it high off the glass. Goes off Robinson and cleared Corrali. Texier touch pass, Corrali across the line and it's set off behind the net where Robinson hustles to it. Back and defend behind Grubauer. Left wing pass, drop cross ice, here comes Larson. He'll dump in deep, follows it up. Andrew Peak away from the youngster, Alexander True called up, jersey number 11, playing his 20th NHL game, his first with the Kraken. Shot set in front by Gavrika. Corralled by Corrali. Carlson sends it deep. Texier, Corrali. And the shot goes high. Down the right wing and out. This is Alexander Crew. Another game will be playing with Oliver Bjorkstrand in the Olympics for Team Denmark. Left wing. Dolby sends it cross ice. Carlson. Right wing feed for Voracek, who hustles in, but icing is the call. So Peek made a good play up out of the defensive zone to allow these guys get in the offensive zone. How about that pass by Gavrikov? Corrali was surprised himself, but good on him to stay with it. And as the shift length goes on, Corrali gets that opportunity from Texier. And this line is starting to really come together. It's not just a four-check line. You can tell they are... Getting confident, the game's slowing down, and they're finding opportunities in the offensive zone. Dunn dumps in, play here by Johansson. Wenberg lurking in front. Alexander Wenberg, free agent signing, puck carried in across the line, that's Domi. The pass goes behind the intended receiver, and quickly it's chopped back in here by Appleton, the former Winnipeg Jet. Elvis. Wierenski, puck turned over, Wember with a shot. And on the edge of the blue paint, anticipating and making the stop there was Merzlikens. Well, tough play as Merzlikens apologizes to Zach with a little raise of the hand, as Elvis did a good job of faking first. And then the pass to Zach Wierenski was in the air. So Zach's got to knock it down, and then under pressure, try to make a play. So there's Elvis, it's a saucer, but you see that Zach's got to knock that down? He knows his option. He also knows he's probably going to get hit in the corner. So he tries to connect with Rosselvik, and he's got to rush it. It's hard enough to knock the puck out of the air. There he made a nice play, but just rushed. And a good opportunity for our old buddy, Alexander Wenberg. Draws one by Schillinger. Puck played onto the right wing boards. Off the wall. Schillinger tries to get to it. It's chopped ahead there by Lausanne. At center now, Morgan Geeky. 
sends in Tanev on the left wing. He had a goal in Columbus. Blue Jackets, of course, won that in overtime on a goal by Patrick Lining. Yarncrow will drop it back. Approaching the three-minute mark here, this opening period, a quick feed. Yarncrow across the line. Yarncrow offside. There was Tanev. And he raises his stick and he has a word for the line. Let's get to the Elk and Elk injury report and for the Seattle Kraken, Yanni Gore, Jay Leach, and Riley Shan, all in COVID protocol. And then for the Blue Jackets, unfortunately, Adam Boquist on the injury reserve took a high hit just under five minutes into that game for him, five minutes of ice time. He is on the trip, but he is not, he did not practice yesterday in the optional or today in the game this game. Left wing. Puck is set. Between the legs there of Andrew Peek, he'll come back. But it will be Elvis playing it high off the glass. Everly knocking it down with a glove. Thrown behind the net, Peek. And Schwartz come together. Down goes Peek, much to the light of the crowd. He's back up on his feet as the jacket's marked up. And it's Bjorkstrand across the line. Puck turned over. Here come the Cracker. Counter it. Across the line and on the left wing. Shot from a sharp angle, way off the net. Jackets defend in their own zone. Everly sweeping at it. Could not make the play. It's Bjorkstrom. Oliver Bjorkstrom trying to see the head. Does a shovel pass there by Gavrikov. But Hoffman could not play it. And the Sharks into Columbus territory. Puck knocked down by Gavrikov. Sent high over the glass and up into the crowd. Andrew peaked down low. He's... Takes a big hit from Jaden Swartz, 5'10", but a veteran player. You know, he established him. Lily did a great job in St. Louis, but during that cup run, I mean, when you are part of the Stanley Cup team, you understand those details right there. Ed. Right. Simple play, finish your check. It's just part of keeping that puck in the offensive zone. And can't have enough of those veteran guys like Swartz in the lineup. Especially the Stanley Cup champions. Eric Robinson along the wall. Alexander Tree is there. Played to the point, unable to keep it in as Lausanne. One time Boston Bruin will send it cross ice. Aiden Fleury dumps in. Elvis out to play, sends it again off the glass. And this puck rolling on in. Rubauer watches it goes the length of the ice and played there by Fleury. Chipped ahead, True now. Looking on the wing there for Donato. Jackets break it up. Puck at center. Drop feed. Now walking in on the right wing, there's an attempted shot that's blocked. Jackets get it back for Alley. Jake Bean at the right point. Centering pass, Robinson is in the slot. Pass a little high, and Wierenski will walk back into Columbus territory. That line again, Jeff, they don't spend much time in their defensive zone, and that's really impressive for them. Again, and, and Texay with that puck behind the net, a fun line to keep an eye on. Rostovic fights off a check along the wall. Puck carried in and across the line. That's Johansson trying to cut in and towards the net. Circles, wrap around the tent. Oh boy, that one right on the line. The referee was right there. And whistles play down. Awfully close on the wraparound by Johansson. Yeah, the curve of the pads. So the way the pads are made at the bottom, there's a little bit of a curve there where the skate is. The puck gets in that curve, but it didn't look like it went over the line. I think Johansson was hoping, but you can see right at the bottom there. Oh boy, that's close. Oh yeah. It took a peek, didn't it? I mean, it might have, it might have nudged over a, a little bit, but that whole puck has to be across the, that red line, and all this did a great job of staying strong. Johansson playing his 700th National Hockey League game tonight. We've seen him with Washington. We've seen him with the New Jersey Devils and Minnesota. There's a shot by Hoffman, wristed wide. Oleksiak, a clearing pass, looking for Eberle. A puck will sail the distance. And Icing has waved off as Gavrikov. Will Corral it behind the net. Eberle's too fast. Gavrikov. <laughs> Hoffman. Tried to take that feed. And play is called. And they'll head back into Blue Jackets territory with Icing the other way. Gregory Hoffman is getting a wonderful opportunity now with the Blue Jackets. He's with Jenner and Bjorkstrand. Played the power play last game, was out there for three on three, and I talked to him about it today, and he had this 
wonderful smile and this glow about him. He said, yes, yes, it's coming, it's coming. You know, you hear athletes say the game is slowing down. It, he's on a different size ice rink. It's in a different game over here in North America. He spent a decade back in Switzerland having success. So great to see that from the young man. How about the additional games that these guys have to play coming over from Europe? <laughs> Not I mean, the intense schedule that there is in the National Hockey I mean, League. What are we, eight weeks in here now, and the Blue Jackets are playing their 26th game. A lot of them on the road, right? But you know, there's... I mean, it's the National Hockey League. It's fun. It's excitement. It's different everywhere you go. You're in wonderful cities. Here we are, Jeff, in Seattle. So, you know, the flight after the game, we left right after the Anaheim game, got in late, and then yesterday they, they, they were at the Climate Pledge Arena here checking things out, a wonderful building. They've done a really nice job with this place. You know, I think they'll be fine. There's a couple big breaks coming up, too. Oh, absolutely. <laughs> and they're looking forward to them. You mentioned a lot of games on the road. We have Christmas. We have three days of Christmas, and then we have that February break. 13 of 17 games the Blue Jackets are now in a stretch playing away from Nationwide. Yeah, that means there's a lot of home games coming, so that's that's also a great thing. Geeky, little give and go, gets it back. And it's batted away with the goal stick there. Centering pass. Down the wing goes Nyquist. Hustling in. Jake B joining the rush. Goes off. Dishing here on the off wing. Right wing feed for Tanev. Tanev sweeps it by in the backhand. And Bean is back to pick it up. Blue Jackets still looking for their first shot on goal. Seattle with five. Left wing pass. Voracek looking for the speedy Dolby down that right side and a tip there. Along the wall. True. Bumping. Puck sent to the point. Drill there by Giordano. Fought off by Elvis. And it goes off the netting and out of play. Donskoy, a little slow in getting up after taking a hit. Elvis Brzezlikens on the wraparound. Gets the pad out. Having a great, just a, a wonderful season. Career highs, you can see goals. Started first game. He got a goal with the Blue Jackets this season. He had a quick start last year, but tailed off. This year, no. Robinson and Corrales have a lot to do with that. Love him on the penalty kill. Blue Jackets have only allowed power play goals in four of the last 18 games. And when he's out there, boy, he's a threat. Not only to get the kill done, but creating chances, which you don't really expect on the penalty kill. He's got one of the Blue Jackets' two shorthanded goals in the season. Everly will backhand in. Elvis just dishes to Corrali from the corner now. McCann able to get it away. Behind the net, Schwartz stepping up. Larson, and again, Elvis with a bad save. McCann now takes the puck along the wall. At the point, Larson sends it cross ice. Puck is drilled in by Dunn. Another former St. Louis Blue. Backhanded. Quick feed up the left wing wall and out to center. Crossing the line is Robinson from the right wing. Texier, who was poked up there by Dunn. The two go to the wall. Larson able to gather up the puck and feeds a backhand ahead. Schwartz turns. Seven shots now for Seattle. Jackets looking for their first. And looking for some territorial play. On the right wing. Johansson, ridden off there by Carlson. A quick feed. Nyquist, left wing, sprints out of the zone. Nyquist across the line. Justin Danforth is there, able to dock the puck down, pursues, he's knocked to the ice. A clearing pass and a quick feed by Appleton, up the left wing and out to center. Johansson will just chip it in. Appleton hustles to it in the corner. Carlson gets there first. Behind the net. Good work there by Bayruder, gets it up but not out. Deep in Blue Jackets territory. Appleton. Deal to the left point. Looks cross ice. Wenberg lurking in the slot. Puck is sent cross ice by Johansson. Hayden Fleury unable to keep it in. He'll back up and then quickly feeds Wenberg. Trying to catch the Jackets on a line change. Wenberg's got to walk back out and dumps it to the point. And then heads to the bench. 
Hooked to the midway point of this opening period. Scoreless here in Seattle. On the turnover, carried in by Oliver Bjorkstra. Sends it behind the net. Giordano, a quick feed up the right wing wall. Bjorkstra fights off a check there from Alexiak. Gives up some size, but doesn't back away. And Seattle clear the length of the ice. Now Warinsky steps up. Bjorkstrand at the line. Oliver circles back into the zone, then dishes. Hoffman will take the pass here from Bjorkstrand. With Getter, the three cross the line. Hoffman with a shot, and there's Grubauer for the first time. Chance to feel the puck here. You know, the Blue Jackets have had some good off-the-rush chances, but they've kind of not let it play out. They, they, they are dying. So there's a play on this rush where they try to get something going, try to lead Sillinger, but it doesn't go to anything. And this is their first shot on net. So plays where they're getting in the zone, a pass behind uh, board check from Domi. You know, they need to get in and establish the cycle game. That's what Seattle has done here. That's why they have seven shots. No goals. Nothing really threatening. Maybe the win the Windsor turnover. But now the grind game, the, 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 the cycle game needs to be established by the Columbus Blue Jackets. Appleton at the right wing. Ordering pass. They, uh, or Jeff. Connect off the rush. You know, those, those passes off the rush just are not, not connected. Back it's denied entry at the line. And the puck sails all the way back. Elvis way out. He'll leave it there for Jake Dean. Dean, quick feed for a check. Lord check, Roslovic backhands it off into the corner. Larson is there to cut it off. Roslovic reaching in. Domi gets the puck, looks for Roslovic. Long lead pass, Donskoy, wrap around the tip there, right through the blue paint. Roslovic, puck knocked down, Donato, the long shot, missing the mark. Off the point, Alexiak. Donskoy backing him up, looks to the left point, long shot there, deflected, a couple of saves by Elvis, scramble there, Elvis down, wrap around the tip, and Alexiak now goes the other way, Elvis without a stick, swimming in that goal crease area, the stick is handed to him by Lorensky, the Jackets are clear. Well, they're lucky Alexiak just threw that, kind of hoped for a bounce after the wraparound, because it enabled the Blue Jackets to clear the zone, but it's been three wraparound attempts. And pretty good chances off of them here to start this game. Also, Robinson now off Eberle. Finds Texier and offside the call. 8.31 left, opening period. Some anxious moments around Elvis, but we're scoreless. Eleven and a half minutes of this game. They're kind of a weird situation where he gets spun around. Oh, Jake Bean, I think he's been a goaltender at some point in his career because <laughs> he gets in the crease, he faces the puck, he stacks the pads, here comes Elvis flying across. There's Jake, great form. I think that's the reverse VH. Isn't that that form? Yes. Leg and hand inside the post. Very nice. <laughs> well done. Jackets have won 11 of the first 13 faceoffs. Trying to take advantage of those draws and create some scoring chances. Yeah, sometimes it takes a few minutes to establish your game. You know, your goaltender can hold you in, and then you get down there and have a good shift to follow up. And I like this faceoff now. You got Jenner, you're over halfway through the game. You know, he wants to establish some zone time. See if this line can stay out there and try to create. And that's a good playoff with that deflection. Big, big B shot. Reflected there. You can see it's one and done. See how Seattle cleared that zone. The Blue Jackets right. want to establish keep, keeping that puck in. Moving in. Oh, what an outstanding glove save there off the stick of Jared McCann. Flashing the leather was Elvis, and he will hold. Yeah, McCann here has got a lot of time and space. Look at all the space he's got there. No sticks in the lane. No one there to confront it. I think the goaltender would prefer that. McCann head up the entire time. Did a look at the puck, picked his spot. And Elvis said, I'll take that. Snags it out of the air. Geeky. Oregon Geeky, former Carolina Hurricane. And 
Corrali for the faceoff. Geeky's been tossed. Yeah, this is where Corrali and his line has done a tremendous job. Winning this faceoff and exiting the zone. And they, they take pride in this. Back at his team of the have been very solid here in faceoff. Wins. Bayreuther. Tough to pass up there the to, to Robinson. It was tough for him to handle as he had a player on him. And now they're going to play in some defensive zone. Bayreuther clears the front of the net. Geeky sends it up high. Long shot there. And off the net. Dunn steps in off the point. Drops it there. Yarncro, cross ice, he'll get it back. Moves down the right wing, fires a shot through a screen, did not get through. Actually, the Kraken player in front blocked it. Now the Jackets will tip it off the wall, and again, saved at the line, this time by Alexia. Here's Corrali, out of the zone. He'll lead the rush up ice with Texier. Long shot by Corrali, Grubauer. Fielding it and a quick feed by Tanner. He was trying to get an offensive zone face off there, put it on the goaltender, and then try to rush him for a whistle. But Grubauer is smart. He played it. Laura Jack looking for Roslovic. Sent back here to Dunn. Tony gets a skate on it. Now hustles to it. Dunn for Larson. Off the wall and out to center. Don score. Patting against Laura Jack. Don score. Hands it right back to Roslovic. Sprints into the left wing feed. Centering pass there by Voracek. Roslovic could not redirect behind the net. Voracek. Roslovic. Up high touch pass. Jack gets it back. Looks and having a difficulty handling that pass there at center was Andrew Peake. Puck picked up. Dots going across the line. Hangs on. Dots going now. Turns in front. The shot drilled wide by Giordano and back the other way. Justin Danforth speeds in. Danforth waits for reinforcements. Chased by Gonsko. Dancing in the corner. Comes up with the puck. Sends it up high. B. Cross ice for Wierenski. Now the screen in front of Grubauer. Save. Rebound. Trying to tuck it home. Grubauer. No idea where the puck is. He's lost his goal stick. And the Kraken have cleared. Oh, Nyquist there trying to get that puck around on his forehand and tuck it past Grubauer, who was well out of the paint. He couldn't get his leg back to that post. There was daylight there. Keep an eye on 14. You can see Grubauer swimming. Oh, what a play down low there. The defenseman. Right there, Larson gets that stick on the post and keeps that puck out. Let's see if he can see Nyquist. I don't know. <laughs> Up high. A great beat in Tampa with that line. On the point, Hoffman drills it. Shot blocked by Donskoy. The Kraken. Dump in. Donskoy in a foot race here with Bean. Wins it. Doubles to the corner. Johansson now getting a stick on it. He's drilled by Hoffman. Lozon sends it cross ice. On the harder route. Picked up here along the half wall. Thrown right back into the corner. Donskoy. Chip. Off the stick of Wenberg. Moretzky was defending. Aiden Flurry now. Hands it right back to Zach. Moretzky a quick feed for Boone Jenner. And the Jackets have dumped it in with Bjorkstrand in pursuit. Goes out. they get there first. Steps in front of his own net. Five minutes left here in the scoreless first period. Steps to seven. And then dumps in arrested away. Elvis quickly out to play. And it's on to Gabriel Carlson. Carlson. Corrali. Rally could not get to that puck. A quick shot, save, and then poke checked away by Elvis. All in one motion. Save and then a quick feed. Alexia whips it around the wall. Touch pass. will be played here by Schwartz. Robinson with the steal. Robinson circles the net. His wraparound attempt to the pass save by Grubauer. Jackets get it back. Here's Bayruther with a shot. Right point. Gavrikov out to center. Everly drops it there. Circling the net. Centered in front. Bayruder breaks it up. And the Jacks get another stick in the lane. This time it was Gavrikov to send it deep. And the Kraken back in their own end. Larson getting it ahead. Geeky in the corner there for Tanner. Defending. And repeat, quick shot there by Yarncroke, and it goes out of play off the net at 3.44. Remaining 
here in a scoreless first period. Wrap around the name of this first period. Here's a Jackets opportunity, and they failed to put it in the net. New building, the Climate Pledge Arena. What are your thoughts? I still love Nationwide Arena better, I'll tell you that. But this is impressive. They did an incredible job. They kept the roof on the top, and they dug down 50 feet extra. They dug wider, and they're, you know, you walk in at ground level, and the amenities, the live wall you can see there in that picture, a lot of climate first ideas. Uh, it, it's no stone unturned at, what was it, 1.4 billion? Yeah, it was really right up there, but what an impressive facility. We had a chance to tour the building yesterday and uh, an extensive tour here today. You mentioned the amenities. They are spectacular all over this building. Number, uh, yeah, you can see the fans here. There's a banner up there. There's a few banners. But there's one with the number 32 on it, Jeff. 32nd franchise. That's one yeah. the reason. And 32,000 people on the waiting list. Yeah. Deposits for season tickets in the first 12 minutes that they went on sale. Incredible. Good fan base here. They're excited about their crack. And we saw yesterday all around town as we were exploring the area a little bit in the rain. Puck turned over. Donato with a shot. There's Bjorkstrand on the puck. Away from Truth. Down the right wing and out to center. A couple of games getting together there momentarily. Knocked down. And quickly cleared by Dunn to center. Peek looking for Bjorkstrand who tried to walk around Dunn. Dunn defending as Bjorkstrand goes down to a knee. Jenner on the floor check. Left wing pass. A Kraken less than three to go here. Send in. Jack at Bishop Gavrikov for Wierenski, and now Voracek is pressured there by Everly. Gordon Everly. In deep. Wierenski will look to the left wing wall, and Domi shovels a backhand in deep. Alexiak now. Far side for Giordano. Bouncing puck settled down by Everly. Turns it over. Voracek able to keep it in. Drops it for Domi, and there's Grubauer very calmly gets the glove on it. And he will hold. Hey, fifth line, want a chance to win a sign? Gus Nyquist gave you stick. Well, simply text the keyword Nyquist to 26791 for your chance to win. Keyword is Nyquist 26791. Messaging data rates may apply. There's Gus coming off a shift where he thought he had a goal. So it's always a good sign when you get that chance early. You saw Zach Wrenzi get that goal waved off at home last game. The offside. Boy, he was on it all around it after that. Wasn't it? I mean, he he wanted to get it back. He did everything but score a goal at home. And Nyquist, hopefully that's a moment where oh, Justin Danforth drills it from the slot to send it wide. Just kind of healed it. Wierenski now floats one in, looking for it to re redirect down low. Sillinger in the corner in a battle. Get some help there from Danforth, but the crack and play nonetheless. Off the wall, Wierenski attempting to keep it in. Able to knock it away there from Appleton, and the Jackets are back in Seattle territory. Alexander Wenberg sweeps the Lozon. Picked up here by Larson. Adam Larson, Appleton, slips and falls, reaching for it was Wenberg. Chops it ahead, but the Jackets quickly counter. Danforth down the wing. On the off wing, Danforth trying to hold off and protect that puck against Larson. Wenberg comes up with it. Chased here by Corrali. Wenberg, Larson, right wing, it's Appleton. Banks it ahead. Now Gavrikov holds up Appleton. Racing to the five side. Andrew Peak. puck is kept in. Corrali, a little more than a minute left. He'll dump it deep. Giordano looks over his shoulder. Robinson coming quickly. Protects that puck, sends it into the near corner. Texier. Hustles to him. Less than a minute to go from the slot. Robinson, and he drills it wide. Geeky for the backhand pass. Corrali is there to pick it up. Africa. Robinson with a shot. Traffic in front. It was Alexiak being pushed out of the way there by the goaltender, Grubauer. At the line. Right wing feed for Geeky. Africa steps in and gets it ahead here to Corrali. On Corrali. Yeah, smart play not to dump that puck in. End of the shift. 
He knew his line mates had changed, so he circles back, and then come the Blue Jackets in possession. Oh, nice feed there for Hoffman trying to walk in. Larson to the left wing wall. Puck is poked away there from Jaden Schwartz. Off Jenner and up into the crowd. You know, you, you travel to the West Coast like this. It takes you, sometimes it takes you a period to get things going. And, you know, your goaltender has done a nice job to start this first period. Here's that Corrali line. We had a couple of shifts where they had those turnovers and played defense, and now they're starting to come on a little bit. You can see that low to high mentality. The D are activating. You saw Andrew Peak up in the play. That's a key for the Blue Jackets. When those D are jumping down the wall, keeping pucks in, that's when you create confusion to catch those lines out there. At the end of their shifts. Jenner has now won eight of nine draws here in this opening period, including the last one here moments ago. Done. Away from Bjorkstrand. Up the left wing board to center. Dean holds up his man. Eberle as the horn goes to end this opening period. Scoreless after one. Yeah, the Blue Jackets have better and they know it. And so this intermission, you know, go in and talk about managing the puck a little bit. Those details, reminders of not putting the pucks in the middle of the ice in the defensive zone unless you're positive, 100% positive, and then get in and get the cycle game. Get the D involved, create that confusion, spend time down there, especially in the second period. This is where line changes and offensive zone time matter the most. Seattle outshoot the Blue Jackets 12 to seven, but after 20 here in Seattle, the Kraken and the Blue Jackets are scoreless. Jackets Hockey brought to you by IGS Energy. Every good choice adds up to a better world. Go green for good at IGS.com. And by Ohio Health, the official health care provider of your Columbus Blue Jackets. Blue Jackets are scoreless after one. Welcome back, Jeff River, along with Jody Shelley. And uh, Jody, your observations as we get set for the second. Well, the Blue Jackets didn't really have their legs in that first period. And if you think about it, they played Anaheim Thursday night. We landed here. We got in bed 2.30 local time, which is 5.30 back in Ohio. And then yesterday was that optional skate, and here they are tonight. So that's to be a little bit expected to start this West Coast trip. But they want to go in the locker room and say, all right, let's get our compete up. You heard Sean Corrali talking to our Dave Metzold there in the intermission. Get the compete level up, match or take control of that to start this second period and carry that over. Really... Uh, got through that first thanks to Elvis, and, and now it's time to do some damage. All right, let's check out the nationwide telestrator, shall we? All right, let's do that. And this is just a, a glimpse of what happened a little bit too much in that first period. You see the one on four by Rosselvik. He does a good job of getting it deep. We stop it here. This is Max Domi, okay? He's in a one on one down low. He's got support here, but this turns into now a three on. It turns into a three. On O down low, you can see Domi is going to be by himself right here with three black jerseys around him. Now, he knows his options are out front somewhere, and he hopes to connect, and you can see what happens. So it's a, a, it's a dump in to a good place, creates the battle, but they're then past trying to connect it just to anyone, didn't connect. So too many turnovers going the other way for the Blue Jackets. Look for them to clean that up a little bit and be more direct here, and Brad Larson would have had that message in between the first and second period with his coaching staff so look for a cleaner cleaner uh, situations in the offensive zone not hoping to make those plays and then cleaner exits out of their own end interesting to note Boone Jenner calling a little huddle there once the five are on the ice as we get set for second period play and the Kraken dump in Morinsky now some help there from Jenner McCann will pick it up on the far side. Deals to the point for Alexiak. All kinds of traffic in front of Elvis. And the puck whistles wide of the net. Everly set up behind. Looks up high. Giordano with a shot. And Elvis moving laterally gets a piece of that. I just love it. Major Schwartz. Down the right wing. Dancing away from Jake Bean. Jenner. Tying up McCann. McCann comes up with the puck. McCann fires from a sharp angle. That's off the shoulder. Now uh, Vildas is back on his feet. Schwartz protects that puck. Gets it back here to Alexiak. Looks down low. There's a tip there by McCann. It went off the side of the net. Alexiak in off the point. Fights off the check. Save Elvis. And then it's swept wide of the net. Donato throwing it across behind the net. Giordano will dump wide. 
Donato will pick it up on the right wing wall. Tied up there by Texier at the line, unable to keep it in there with True. He'll drop it back here and done with a quick feed. Donato comes again. Donato to the front of the net. A goal mouth pass there, looking for Donskoy that failed. Long shot block in front of Elvis, and he's just going to hang on here as he's able to catch it on the fly. Right, good idea by Elvis. Quite a buzz here to start this second period as a crack and get a number of opportunities. There's a hard shot from McCann. You can see the net front presence of Schwartz, and this is a Hyundai drive to the net. This sequence is to start the second period by the Kraken. They're low to high direct, and there's Oleksiak, the big man. The big defenseman goes backhand, but Elvis, again, strong and sharp on these broken plays. He's making some pretty good saves on. Gavrikov from the faceoff. Down the left wing and out of the zone, away from True. A nice feed there for Corrali. On to Texier, who tries to pull the trigger. Puck just rolled off his stick. He'll get it back. Sends it up high now for Pete. Thrown to the far side. Corrali in pursuit. Donskoy is there. He'll backhand it out of the zone and out to center. Peek had fallen back on his feet here now. Drop feed and there goes on with a shot. Scramble there. And Merzlikens with a couple of slashes at True in front of the net. And we've got our first scrum of the yeah, night. Elvis might get a penalty here. It might be both of them, actually, because that extra poke. You know, Elvis made the save. No one saw the puck. Elvis took a little bit of a shoulder check, and, and that's when, right in front, he got confronted. And it was a stick to the midsection. And that's when Elvis... And it's a slash, and that's the right call on that one. It's, it's only one of them going to the box. Lucky for Elvis. That's true. He just got called up. There's the extra whack, and there's Elvis. Hack, hack. And then Elvis will go over and give him a little tongue lashing. There. Two pretty healthy hacks that Elvis uh, <laughs> got away with. I'll say. Nonetheless, the Jackets will take the power play and see if they can get the offense on track here. Columbus 11th in the league at 20.3%. 13 power play goals in the year. 18th on the kill. At 81% are the Kraken. They killed off 19 of the last 22. Hoffman tried to corral that puck, but it's chopped down the ice. And the Jackets will regroup. Wierenski to the line, drops it there. Coming quickly and a return feed now for Bjorkstrand up out of the Columbus bench. Yeah, the Blue Jackets, uh, you gotta work a little extra harder in the focus department when you're in these situations. The crowd's still reacting that Elvis did not get a penalty there. But uh, yeah, a couple of sequences there, a pass by Wierenski, just a little bit ahead of the winger in the offensive zone. The puck gets cleared, and now they try to make their way through the neutral zone, and it's a puck off a, a stick on a deflection pass. So the faceoff will come down into Seattle territory here. In general, they've been excellent on the faceoffs tonight. Board check of George Strand. Back it's won 74% of the draws in that opening period. They're going to redo this one. They Boom Jenner touched it before it hit the ice, so he gets kicked out. Gregory Hoffman. Stepping in against Yarncro. Former National Predator. Draw one. I see a hoop behind the net. Moved, edged off the wall. Voracek attempted to corral it. It's knocked to center, and Wierenski will pick it up. Zach turns back into his own end. Center and Bjorkstrand come back, offering support. Voracek spins it center. Left wing, Jenner coming with speed. Jenner around the net. Banks it off the wall. Voracek is there. Now Hoffman on the half wall on the other side. <laughs> Once again. He's keeping that puck on the wall here. It's in the middle of the ice. Hoffman, Wierenski. Voracek lets one fly. Hoffman able to play it off the end wall. Gets it back here to Wierenski. Less than a minute left in the power play. Zach dishing. Hoffman looking for Voracek on the back door. 
Seattle's first attempt to clear fails, but Alexiak is there to bank it off the boards yeah. into the Columbus end. Right idea by Hoffman. He had Jake open on the back door, but Jake just wasn't ready for that hard pass. Locking in. There's a shot in Grubauer out of the blue paint. Heavy angle and makes the stop. The pass by Hoffman actually went in behind Voracek. But yeah, the second unit gets out there. We watched the pra practice power play for probably 15 minutes this morning in that pregame skate. And this is Domi with speed. You can see the give and go. As Nyquist just mishandled that puck and Domi with speed picked it up. Sillinger wins the face up. Up high. D. Top of the circle on the left side is Roslovic. Jacket set the screen in front. Here's Domi looking for redirect from Sillinger there. Backhanded by Wenberg. He finds a lane and sends it back into the Columbus end. Final seconds. Now to a precious seven. Domi hustles in on the left wing. With Nyquist and Sillinger. Off the point comes Peak. And the pass was behind him. Played here by Domi. As True steps out, one shot for the Blue Jackets on the power play. They get a second shot off the shoulder there of Grubauer. Nyquist battles along the left wing boards. Gets it to the point. Peak looks into the high slot. Domi. All kinds of traffic in front of that Seattle net. Nyquist out of the corner. Just Nyquist, a cross ice pass. And ever alert there was True who comes out of the box and sweeps it away from the slot. Yeah, that was Domi in the back door. He would have been wide open. Left point. Centered in front, neatly taken there by Adam Larson. Larson will settle the puck down and then lift it out. Corelli off the bench. Oh, he takes a high stick there. It's going to be a penalty here. A delayed call. Will it be two or four? Corelli checking here. But the Jackets are going right back on the power play. Yeah, that was quick. That's Wenberg that's heading to the box with a high stick right by the bench. It's stick on stick, but Wenberg's stick slides right up Corrales. And it gets Corrales in the face. He seems to be okay. Yeah, he's fine. That's good. The teeth look good. No cuts. <laughs> There's Hackstall, head coach. Three years in Philadelphia. And now he is the first coach of the Seattle Kraken. Assistant coach in Toronto. Getting an opportunity once again to be a head coach. Yeah, he was North Dakota player and coach in that system for a long time. Decided to leave and head to the pros to Philly. Jackets win the faceoff, but the puck sails back into the Columbus end. Varinsky back to gather it up. Adam on the court check. Varinsky looks to the left wing. Jackets will dump it deep. Yorkstrand able to cut it off on the right wing roll. Had it briefly. Vorchek steps up. Wierenski. Hanging on. Wierenski looks to the left. Hoffman with a shot. There's Grubauer. Jenner was in front. But uh, Grubauer holds. Sweet pause now for this message from Jets Pizza. We need you loud. We see your mouth watering. Go ahead. Order now. Jets. Hear a lot of groove hour chance in this building, and you know he's an established goaltender. Played 21 games already this season. This is team game 27. He's played a lot of hockey, and they've relied on him quite a bit. But you can tell in the saves he's made, he's he arrives early. You know he's a confident player. The Jackets have to find a way to stay in front of him so he doesn't see those pops. Had a great year in Colorado. Last season, he finds a long term contract to his liking here in Seattle. Short handed, cracking, Appleton. Norinsky right there, defending. Puck comes free to Boone Jenner. One minute left in the power play. Norinsky, left wing. Jenner looks cross ice to Bjorkstrand. Oliver Bjorkstrand blows on. Drives him into the net. As a result, puck comes up high, and Appleton will walk it out short-handed. Look at Tanner. Race in. On the left side. Tries to redirect it home. Takes a couple of extra shots at it there. But Elvis has it. And uh, the Jackets will address that situation. Yeah, like he had the pinball flipper going there. Click, 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 click on Elvis's pads. 
Well, Tatum's not going to back out of there. You can see he's joining the, the rush on the right side of your screen. There he is. And as he stops at the net, never want to skeet by the net. And he does it. He stops. <laughs> Just hoping that that puck bounces, I guess. You see, Elvis has got that puck under his arm. From the face off. No Nine punches quick. thrown in that situation. B. Left wing and out to center. Hoffman racing in. Nyquist. Puck is played. Oh, dangerously in front of the Seattle net. Tanda. Short ended. Walks in. Drops it there. Cross ice pass. Giordano is up. On here to Tanda. He'll walk it all the way back. He's one of the crowd favorites here for the Kraken. Yeah, he's definitely got to be the fan favorite when it comes to jersey sales in that Kraken store. It all started with his headshot. <laughs> Wide eyed headshot. Roslovic. Not hard to recognize, that's for sure. I recognized him yesterday when he walked into the building here. Everly. Puck sent wide. Pretty friendly guy, too, in my bad. Did you have him cornered or? No, no, no. He was walking <laughs> one way, I was doing the other. And he stopped to say hello. 12.52 left. Scoreless here in the second. It's arena now, and one of the unique aspects of this building is with this big glass wall here, you don't have to have a ticket. You can watch the game from here. Now, the difference is, of course, it's BYOB out here, and uh, it's a little bit different view, but, you know, it's free hockey. Hey, Rims, can you get the door real quick? <laughs> there is that uh, glass window. Now, they've got a curtain there. You're not going to get the door? Uh, not at this point. <laughs> but you know what we can do is I can certainly get the ushers to lower the curtain so Dave would have to walk back into the building somewhere, somehow, make sure he has his press pass with him to get back in. How about this line? Corrali, Texier. Now it's Danforth on the right side. So things changing up. Done from the draw. Whips it around the boards. Peak with a quick shot. Oh, that was redirected in front. But just bounce wide. Justin Danforth tried to get a stick on it. Up high, Tano. Corrali able to come up with it. Texe hands it right back to Corrali. Tano bumping Corrali out of the zone. Down the left wing. Yarncro will dump deep. Gavrika and Geeky come together. Tano trying to get a stick on it. Geeky does. Sweeps it to the point. Done. He almost handed a gift wrap there to Texier. Dunn recovers, and it's on to Tanev. Tanev will backhand in. Andrew Peake for Texier. Texier walks into Seattle territory. Everly is there. Rides him off. Dunn, 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 Danforth forcing a turnover there. And Lausanne with a hit on Texier, enabling the Kraken to come up with a puck. Geeky. Break wide. Moving in. There's his shot. Score! Oliver Bjorkstrand finds a spot from the far circle, and Columbus is on the board. They lead Seattle 1 0. Yeah, Seattle tries the breakout play. They get caught up in the neutral zone. Thanks to Beirut, they're stepping up, and as Boone Jenner and Beirut do a good job here. Jenner gets the puck and heads up play, backhand right across the blue line on a line change, and gets it to the right guy in Oliver Bjorkstrand. He does nothing but rip this thing right up in the top of the net. And Grubauer checks his shoulder, and boy, that was in hard and fast by Oliver Bjorkstrand. Ninth goal of the season for Bjorkstrand, and the Jackets are first on the board. You mentioned Bayreuther. He was briefly a member of the Seattle. Yeah, he got picked up in the expansion draft. Was not signed. In front now, Hoffman and denied. Grubauer with the save, and it goes out of play. So, and then he ends up back signing with the Blue Jackets. I'm wondering here in the second period if they'll have a welcome back video of Grubauer. I of uh, Bayreuther, yes. Bayreuther, excuse me. We'll see. Well, this is the next shift. You can see a little bit of pressure, patience by the Blue Jackets as far as, you know, waiting to get their, their opportunities. And it was Elvis Merzlikens that's kept this game tight as they've had some pretty good chances on him and now the Blue Jackets cash one in and you can see what happens they've got momentum quick shot there oh it ricochets off the leg of Giordano one nothing Blue Jackets on the ninth goal of the season for Oliver Bjorkstrand left wing pass 
Now Wenberg away at center. Right back to Johansson. I'm calling him Johansson. When he was in Washington, he was known as Johansson, but now, of course, he's Johansson. And like playing a 700th NHL game. It's the West Coast, Johansson. Yeah, exactly. And in the East, he's Johansson. <laughs> Certainly was in Washington. Nine minutes in. Giordano. Out to center. Knocked down by Elvis. A nice hand eye coordination there. Gets back in the net. Lost his footing there briefly. Going down to the dunk. Adam Larson now. On the dunk. Quick feed. Johansson sends it into the slot. The Jackets are there to bat it away. And back to neutral ice. Crack and go D to D. Knocked out here by McCann. And play is called. Had to be offside there, right at the at the line as McCann had speed and time and space, but that's because he was it's a little bit ahead of the play. So this comes back to the center ice dot. And for the Blue Jackets, they really have uh, the momentum in their favor. You mentioned Gavin Bayruthers. Jake Bayruthers has been uh, a nice surprise. He hasn't played in three games. We were in Washington last Saturday night. Seems like a long time ago. It does. <laughs> Everly tried to clear the zone, get some help, and a second effort gets it out. Schwartz, it's a two on one with McCann. Schwartz moving in, and it was Elvis. Had the angle, makes the save, and hangs on. Yeah, really good play by Elvis because, you know, Schwartz is obviously trying to outsmart him. He's got that option on the backside. You can see this nice play to spring Jane Schwartz and Bayruther's going to take away the pass. And that's when Schwartz tries to go five hole. Good job by Gavin Bayruther not to bite on that pass. Allow that to come across and then as Schwartz commits to shot he turns his stick to the middle. So. Now when Bayruther was uh, called up from Cleveland Played every game until, as you mentioned, those three in a row. Yeah, finished in Washington. That was his last one. Then he sat out the next three. And back mm -hmm. in the lineup here tonight, trying to keep in the lineup here as the shot turned aside by Gubau. Due to injury, of course. Boat pushed out with an upper body injury. On the trip, though, which is a good sign. And they called up young Christensen, who's from Vancouver. So, playing really well in the American Hockey League. Jake Christensen. Leading the American League in goals. We might see him. In Vancouver on Tuesday night. It would be a throw for the kid, wouldn't it? Oh, for sure. West Vancouver native. Pretty excited to be called up. Shot by Peak, redirected there by Jenner, getting a piece of it with Grubauer. Yeah, you can see the Blue Jackets now winning races to those bucks on rebounds. Play here by Beirut to step off because he's got a forward backing him up. And now they're Bjorkstrand with a shot. There's Peak. Oh, he looked far corner and the puck ricochets out. A little too far wide there for Peak. Good pressure. Here they come again. Roslovic looking to cut in. Jack Golmoth pass there. Norcheck could not get a stick on it. He was defended in the way. Go to the Kraken at center. Then he lost his stick as he tried to knock it away from Dotsko. Donato able to fish it free. Gabriel Carlson all over him. Yeah, Gabriel's got to be careful with that stick. He's got it wrapped around him. Domi. On to Voracek. Right back to Domi. Max Domi across the line, but the puck goes right to Voracek. He drops it for Domi. And from up high, I believe Roslovic got a stick on it in front to redirect it. And the Blue Jackets lead 2-0. Well, that's a wild sequence. As a, right from the Blue, Blue Jackets blue line, Domi and Voracek trying to connect, and Domi loses it. Voracek picks it up. He drops it to Domi. He tries to hit Roslovic, and boy, does he ever. Perfectly timed pass. Domi sees it right here. Waits. It's a hard play to the middle of the ice. Roslovic's in perfect position. He can't believe it. <laughs> <laughs> the look on his face says it all for Jack Roslovic. Fifth goal of this season. And what a redirect in front of Grubauer. Yeah, nice job by these Blue Jackets in the second period. What's he going to do? Save the stick there? Hand it to Nate's Goto on the bench. Columbus 2, Seattle no score. 
Oh, Nates is cutting some tape off of it, it looks like. Whatever it takes. Along the wall. Oh, what a play there by Borchek and Andomi. Didn't look like much was going to happen. As, you know, Domi lost that puck, but then Borchek picked it up, cleaned it up. And that heads up play by Max Domi. Justin Dapur camp behind Grubauer, threw it into the blue paint. Right idea, Grubauer hangs on. So the Blue Jackets score a couple of quick goals. First it was Bjorkstrand, and then Roslovic, 2-0. Oh, but let's keep an eye on Voracek and Domi as they really work their magic up the ice. And you can see Domi's going to try to make a pass right there. It goes off of True's skate, but here's the play. Heads up, back door. Roslovic with the hustle, the inside position on the veteran defenseman Giordano. And his expression, Giordano says it all. As he gets on the wrong side of Roslovic, who fights to get to the middle, goes to the net with a stick on the ice, and Max Domi. Laid out a wonderful assist. Domi and Voracek draw the assist on the Roslovic goal. Boone Jenner picks up the lone assist on the goal by Bjorkstrand. Two jacket goals come a little more than three minutes apart here in period number two. At one point, Columbus trailed on the shot clock 7 0. Now 18 to 17. Shots on goal in favor in Seattle by one. You talked about it in that opening period. The Blue Jackets certainly aided by the strong net binding of Elvis early. Yeah, he had to make some big saves, and you know that was a key to this game of where it's at so far. It takes you a while sometimes when you make the long road trip to get your legs. And the Blue Jackets now are seem to be a little more organized, definitely have the jump. Backhand pass. Winber out to center. Long shot. Way off the net. Jackets backhanded up to center looking for Bjorkstrand, but stepping up is Giordano, and he'll dump it deep. Bjorkstrand, Corrali, and Robinson now the forward line. Puck deflected high, bounces at center. Oh, oh right in the bench to hit Larson. No. Right up on a quick attempt there. I think Bjorkstrand might sit for a couple of shifts now going after the coach. <laughs> Well, Larson had to duck quickly. I thought maybe he got hit. Wow. There it is, just a chip play. There's the reaction. See how Larson kind of waits there. Look, Larson goes right over. Ooh. See if Bjork trying to Grabs a farmer. Him. He's all right. <laughs> Quick reaction there. No, Bjork's turn's fine. He's got a goal. He's okay. Yeah. He'll get out there. Next He'll get out there next shift. Robinson's an interesting. He's been moving around a little bit. He missed a shift. They put out Hoffman in his, or uh, Danforth in his, in his position. Excuse me. But now he's back out there with Texier and Corrali. Loose puck. McCann scores. Turns and fires it high on Elvis. And what looked like an innocent. Play turns into a goal here for the Kraken. Yeah, and the Blue Jackets, Corrali does a nice job. He wins the faceoff. But then Gavrikov, as he goes up the wall, just kind of runs out of real estate. Keep an eye on 44. He's doing a great job here. And as he tries to get it to the middle and support, it bounces away. And credit the Kraken uh, winning the puck battles right there. Able to get that bouncing puck back. I'm going to call that the story of the bouncing puck. I mean, look at this thing. Corral looked like they had it. He had it. The Blue Jackets were going to clear the zone and then bouncing puck and actually that shot. They're having a chuckle about it because they fanned on a rolling puck that perfectly arced over Elvis. And he's in that position. And what are you going to do? So tough bounce. McCann gets his 11th. He's one back of the leader, Eberly, who has 12. 10 of tips. Puck is chipped ahead. And it's Domi now. Sending it to the far side. Everly draws the lone assist. It's a 2-1 hockey game here with less than six to go. And Domi now will carry into Kraken territory. Domi puts the brakes on. Wierenski follows up. Zach with a centering pass. Well, there's Giordano right in the slot. And he will clear it out to center.
Rink wide pass. That's going to force Warensky back to corral it. Steps away from Donato. Up the far wall. Danforth sweeps in on a backhand. Nyquist in pursuit. Try to refeed Danforth. There's Donskoy. On for True. A big six foot five call up. Playing his first NHL game of the season. 19 previously in the San Jose organization. Three years here playing amateur hockey in Seattle. He's got to be excited to be back with the organization. Or I guess in the city. True. Tried to feed Donskoy. Jackets have cleared. Goes on. Rolling off Danforth. Dumps in. Elvis able to trap it behind the net. Sees the Kraken coming. Bayreuther. Right wing feed. Nyquist now. Off the wall. Quickly swept to Winberg. Able to corral it. Drops the pass there for Donato. Three on three. And it's dumped deep. Winberg stays on. The other two peeled off and headed to the bench. Centering feed. Winberg with a shot. Deflected wide off the stick of Andrew Peake. Loose puck. Picked up by Johansson. There we go again. Johansson. We'll get it. <laughs> You're doing the East Coast, Johansson. Uh, where we live and <laughs> watching go ahead you know so many years. <laughs> uh, Joe Beninati, when he was a member of the Washington Capitol, play-by-play -play broadcaster there, always called him Johansson. <laughs> Underway, you could cast your vote to determine the captain for each division team in the 2022 NHL All-Star Weekend in Las Vegas. Fans can submit up to 10 ballots per day on NHL.com and via the NHL app. Voting starts now, and it runs through January the 8th. York Strand with a goal here tonight. And there he is. So you get your vote? I've already voted several times tonight. 10 each day. That's the maximum. Almost pass there. At least an attempted shot by Giordano. The Jackets march out. Oliver Bjorkstrand, one of four Blue Jackets on the ballot, and fires on, and Grubauer with the save. You know, we talk about the Seattle Kraken and how they're, you know, they're inconsistent coming into the season, but you know, if you look at their last nine games, 5-3-1, and one, and they've beaten Washington, Carolina, Florida, and Edmonton. Pretty good. You know, they got the talent. Yanni Gord is out. I mean, he's out on the COVID protocol. That's a big part of their team. He's that fire plug that's won two Stanley Cups with the Tampa Bay Lightning. So I was going to say they, in Tampa, certainly miss Gord. One of the most popular players ever to wear a Lightning uniform. Just got a Stanley Cup ring here in the last week or so. Moving in, Larson, and he rips it wide of the net. That was a quick four on two for the Kraken. Rolling puck. Appleton trying to find the handle, but Roslovic does. Feeds it ahead. Domi behind the defense. Domi walks in and scores. And it's Roslovic who returns the favor. Earlier this period, it was Domi with the pass to the net for the redirect. This time, it goes the other well, way. Great play by Max Domi to get open here, as this is a defensive zone play by Jake Voracek and Jack Roslovic. And Domi just waits at the far blue line. He exits the area. He does that, and what a play by Jack. Heads up, gets out of traffic. It looked like the crack, and we're going to keep that puck in. And there's Larson, who took that shot wide on their four on two. He cannot recover. And Max Domi makes no mistake. Oh boy, for Jack Roslovic. Impressive period here for Jack. You got that goal. You know, when you get goals, you get the juices flowing, and now he's buzzing. And that's a defensive play that leads to a goal. Back at three, Kraken one. A little more than three to go here in period two. Robinson in the corner. Geeky gets an arm around him. Robinson fights it off on to Corrali. Corrali trying to protect that puck. Right point, Jake Bean goes off the back of Tetsier. Yarncroke got a stick on it to clear the zone. Alexiak. Lost the puck. Corrali, quick feed. Texier. Corrali hustles to the net. Tried to one-hand it towards. Grubauer battles below the goal line. Giordano now defending in the corner. Alexiak there to help out. Clearing pass. Alexiak, former Dallas star. And a dump behind. So one assist. 
on the Doby goal goes to Roslovic on a right wing feed. Danforth unable to get a stick on it. Danforth though here pinches it along the wall. Caught up in his jersey there. He just untucked it, got the puck out. Puck turned over again by the crack of Jackets able to keep it in. Oh, Sillinger could not get a stick on it. That puck came right to him. Back the other way. Donato looks for True. Far side, Donskoy. Donskoy looking to walk out. Jackets defend. Deep in the zone. Puck comes up high. Goes off. Gabriel Carlson trying to clear the front of the net. Down the right wing. Across the line, Sillinger. Sillinger dishing. On to Bayreuther behind is Justin Danforth, but it's cut off there and cleared off the wall and out to center. You gotta like that about Bayreuther. Up in the play as a defenseman in support of that forward, and it was a big play to keep it deep. Off the shoulder of Elvis, bouncing puck behind the net. Hoffman, there's Jenner to scoop it up. Keeps it away from True. Fights off the check and down the right wing. Hoffman banks it off the board. Schwartz up the left wing wall. Here's McCann, the goal scorer here with less than a minute to go in the second period. The Jackets have three, McCann has one with that quick snapshot to beat Elvis. Right wing, here's Hoffman with a shot. Fought off there by Grubauer. Puck left in the slot and quickly walked away. Centering pass, it's out to center and into the Columbus end where calmly it's cleared and McCann reaching for it. Bumped there by Jenner, D to D. Dunn will get it back. Dunn's attempted pass. Knocked down by Jenner. Bjorkstrand walking in on the wing. Bjorkstrand hanging on. Shows patience. And it's into the net. Grubauer thought he had it. And the Jackets now lead 4-1. Quick hands of Max Domi. Goes to the back post. Sees the puck come through. He was almost on the other side of the net. But not quite. As he reaches out his stick and taps it in. Nice job by Max. Bjorkstrand's got that shot. And Max Stomey with the celebration. How about Bjorkstrand's shot? Curls the hands in, rips it there. He's so quick to pull his hands to the middle of his body, right there and rip it, and then Max Stomey, backdoor tap in, yeah. You don't get that if you're cruising by the net. Perfectly timed play, and what a, what a period for Domi, Roslovic, and Bjorkstrand. Not just the goal scorers, but all creative plays on all of them, so. Domi gets the uh, the bounce there of getting out on the ice with Bjorkstrand. Now he's with his regular line, but go to the net with your stick on the ice and do not drift by. And another big second period by the Blue Jackets. How many times have we said that? Four goals here in the second after a slow start here. As they head west and play their first game on the west coast. Puck goes out of play, high off the netting. We've got four and a half seconds remaining. It, you know, and, and momentum in the building. This crowd, I mean, there's a big crowd, but it's not rambunctious. It's no, it's not very quiet. Vegas. It's very quiet. You know, they got the horn, the uh, ferry horn, when they scored from the Puget Sound. You hear that on the ferries that go by at the big toot. Pyrrhostrand likes the Pacific Northwest. He played his junior hockey just three hours from here, in Port, away from here in Portland. And all he did there was put up points and goals. 144 goals in was 186 games or something. Yeah, he's uh, a couple of 50 goal seasons. He had a couple. Of, he had, I think, he had a 62 goal season. So he likes it out here. And uh, you know, he had a couple goals last game. He's he's a player that sometimes, when things aren't going well, we look to Bjorkstrand. But I talked to him today. He said, "No, I like my game." So good on him. He feels like he's at home out here in Seattle, and he's sure acting like it here. A nice period for the Blue Jackets. We talked about not having their legs. The goaltender did his job, and what would you have to do? Go out here and give him some support. So. Blue Jackets did just that. 4-1 after 40 here at Climate Pledge Arena in Seattle. Domi with a pair. Singles for Roslovic and Bjorkstrand. 4-1 Columbus. Columbus Blue Jackets hockey brought to you by American Eagle Mortgage. We get you home on time whether you're buying or refinancing. And by Ohio Health, the official health care provider of your Columbus Blue Jackets. It score four times in period two and lead this one 4-1. Jeff Rimmer, Jody Schellen rejoining you. First time the Jackets have had a four-goal second period. Twice against Arizona and then against Buffalo. The Jackets scored three times in the second period. Tonight, led by Boone Jenner, the Jackets get four. <laughs>
Great stuff. Yeah, the Blue Jackets, that's what they needed. You know, the first period was all Elvis. And then you know, they got things going. But Boone Jenner leads a team with 11 goals. But these are the plays. And Gavin Bayreuther here, it doesn't happen if he doesn't step up and take the body. Now, Boone Jenner, that's a heck of a pass across the blue line on your backhand. But you got Bjorkstrand over there. Get him the puck. Good job by Boone. And then this is the Big Lots big play. Here, Boone, 38 again. If we stop it here, here's Boone. Big hit. Oh, I missed him. He didn't miss the hit. There it is. Good job by Boone. There's Oliver in support. That doesn't happen if Boone Jenner doesn't take the body. Bang. Domi gets the goal. Bjorkstrand and Jenner don't get assists on those plays. But what I like about that is the details of, by Boone. Here's the capital Kia game summary. I'm going to sum up what's happened so far. But really the story is, you know, the jet legs, Jeff. We saw him. The Jackets come on in the latter part of the first period to get their legs. It was all Columbus in the second. As we mentioned, you know, those cross country flights took a period to get going. But yeah, they're they're going right now. Well, you had your legs from the start of the game. That uh, certainly counts that. from up here. Kind of <laughs> get them under you a little bit. You know what I mean? Yep. But now expect a push from the crack. And they had a great start to that second period. Remember that big shift down in the offensive zone. Here they are again trying to make that push. Off the stick of Jaden Schwartz stepping up here to keep it in was Alexiak and a quick shot by McCann turned aside by the stick save. Everly dishing Alexiak all kinds of traffic in front of Elvis and he's able to corral it and hold. How about Bjorkstrand? He's got his 200th career point with those two points tonight. A player I mentioned in that second period. You no, know, when things aren't going well for the Blue Jackets, we look to these guys who we expect to get those goals from. And he's one of those guys. So good to see him having results here. We talked about the road, Jeff, and the Blue Jackets' struggles. Okay, St. Louis, Dallas, Nashville, Washington, Toronto. Kind of a tough schedule. I'm not making excuses. But that's where the five game losing streak came. This is a much better matchup for the Blue Jackets right now. Oh, for sure. And you talked about matchups right from the outset here tonight. And the Jackets certainly taking it to oh, Grubauer trying to find that. Oh, nice hit. Closer. Check. <laughs> Pretty good hit by Gruby. He didn't know where that puck was. Here's the young body. Whatever it takes to keep it out of their net. Or keep Crowley away from the puck, I guess. Centering feet. Robinson. Gavrika. Paired here with Pete. Just underway in the third period. Jackets fly to Vancouver after this one. Short flight. Take on the Canucks Tuesday. Great Cup Sunday tomorrow back in Canada. I guess you'd be watching it, huh? Hamilton and Winnipeg. I think the whole country will be watching. From behind the net. Domi. Max Domi, two goals in that second, back to back. And here it's rifled off the netting and out of play. Let's take a look at Grubauer behind the net, throwing a check. Now, is there an argument that you should be allowed to hit a goalie if they're allowed to hit you? That's not much of a hit. Just a shove. Grubauer, you're right. Protects the puck. <laughs> Why not? So the faceoff will come to the left of Grubauer. Jack Roslovic, who had an impressive second period. That face-off win after setting up Domi for one after he scored with a perfect deflection in front of Grubau. Elvis. To play in the National Hockey League as a goaltender, not only do you have to stop the puck, but we're seeing more and more. There's a delay penalty upcoming here to the Blue Jackets. Got to be able to handle that puck, and both these goaltenders certainly can, and oh, effectively. Man. Elvis has gotten much better at it. Up high. Six skaters on here for the Kraken. Wenberg. Alexiak. Centering pass by Johansson. Here's an attempted shot that's deflected high and off into the corner. Again, delayed call, and the play whistled down, so the Kraken will get their second power play. Yeah, the Blue Jackets have given up four. A power play goal in only four games in the past 18 play, and Carlson will head to the bench. And here comes Corrali and Robinson. Well, there's the play. You see, he gets that free hand loose on former Blue Jacket Alexander Wenberg. 
So the big man sits for the Blue Jackets. From the draw, puck sails wide of the net. Looking to clear and doing just that is Robinson, who's edged out along the wall. Now Dunn. Dunn steps to center. He'll drop it back. Everly. Leading goal scorer for this Kraken team. Puck whipped around the board, reaching for it, Johansson. Robinson with the backhand, Corrali under control, gets away from him, McCann with a shot, he looked far corner, Gavrikov got just enough of it to edge it wide of the net, Robinson, Corrali, Corrali will drop it there for Gavrikov, and he's got nothing but room, and he'll send it the length of the ice. Yeah, nice recovery there by Corrali and Robinson, and good play back to Gavrikov, who's on his forehand, ready to unload the puck. Aiden Schwartz drops it there. Power play time, a little more than a minute left. Kraken at the line. Donskoy holds it. Schwartz spins, turns at center. First into Columbus territory, on to Donskoy. Donskoy dancing up high, looks down low. Schwartz. Yarncroft in the slot. Yarncroft turns, shot, scores! Schwartz deflected and down low. It's a power play goal. Uh, he's limping, I think he took it off the back of the leg. As he was coming in front of the net and heads up play, Giordano takes his time as he gets the puck up high. Really shows himself as a threat to shoot the puck. And that's when he gets to Don Donskoy and keep the eye on Schwartz. He's going to come back and jump. It looks like he actually goes off his backside. That's the Donskoy. You can see how collapsed the penalty killers are for the Blue Jackets. And that's all because of Giordano. But net front presence off of the backside of Jaden Schwartz and that's a power play tally as the Seattle Kraken open the scoring here in the third or Schwartz his sixth goal of the campaign he is their points leader it's 4-2 now we saw him in front of the net in the first period quite a bit when they were pushing him. there he was right in front of Elvis and just got enough of it to get it over him Geeky feeds ahead here for Appleton. Gavrikov draped all over him. Centering pass. Moving in. Scores! The Kraken come back with another one. This one from Morgan Geeky. Oh, that's a quick response by the Seattle Kraken. They just get a power play goal, and as they get that puck up to the neutral zone, what a heads-up play. It's right here. The play on the wall to Geeky and Geeky drifts to the right and puts it past Elvis Merzlikens. 22 seconds apart of the two goals. Morgan Geeky with his third of the season. From the draw. Puck picked up here by Appleton. Steps in. Rifles it to the far side. That's Voracek protecting the puck. Roslovic, Domi on the left wing. Borinsky bounces one in, and Grubauer is going to hold. Got a little trick to that bounce, and those are two goals in 23 seconds for the crack in that power play goal, a heads up play with net fun presence, and then. The rush through the neutral zone for the Kraken as they make the play on the wall. It was impressive to get to the middle of the ice, and then Geeky was all alone. Skated into the puck. So two quick ones on Alps. We've seen the sequence quite a bit this year where they give up those goals in a short period of time. But see if they can push back. Jackets now in Seattle territory. Shot is blocked. Picked up here by Appleton. Appleton feeds it rink wide. Reaching behind them there was Johansson, but it's dumped in by Alexiak. Right wing feed. Bean stepping up for the Blue Jackets. Jake Bean throws it in front, and it was deflected just wide as Grubauer just weighed that. Yeah, it looked like he had to swat that back behind the net, didn't it? Sure did. 4-3 here. Early minutes of period three. Gabriel Carlson dumps in. Puck settled down in front of the net. A one goal game as Lausanne rifles in. Elvis able to trap it behind the net. Quickly feeds here for Bayreuther. 
Gavin Bayreuther, Jake Voracek, Gabriel Carlson, right wing, and Domi will dunk. Neubauer almost hitting the official who had to duck there. Roslovic to corral the puck. McCann gets it. Sweeps to the near side, but Domi is there. Drops it to Voracek behind. Neubauer and the Kraken net. Up high, puck hops over the stick of Gabrikov. Out of the net. Held his hands to Gabrikov. Rink wide. Peak. Off the wall. Gabrikov will pick it up here along the left wing. Voracek with a touch pass there looking for Corrali. Red knocked it out of the air. Up on that far wing. Yarncrook tries to get a stick on it. Here's Geeky. Dish it. Yarncrook. Kind of good hit to the front of the net. Good hit there by Sean Corrali. Crowd reacted to it. Corrali takes a hit there. That was a little payback. None of the worst, none of the worst in here. Grubauer tried to play and went off the back of the defender, almost bouncing towards that net. Here's Geeky at the line, denied entry. Jackets Corrali with it. Left there for Robinson. Coming with speed. Robinson, short side attempt, turned aside. Right wing Yarncrook. Late in the shift, tried to feed Tanov. It's Wierinski skating in front of his own net. Tanov heads to the bench as Zach. Dishes on the right side. Jenner coming with speed. Steps in and across the line. Boone Jenner as Hoffman steps to the net. Jenner finishing a check there on Giordano. Bjorkstrand to the point. Fanning on the first attempt there was Wierinski. Sent it ahead. It's out of the zone. Zach can't get a stick on it. Carried in. Drop pass there. Centered there by Donato. Well, the Jackets Bjorkstrand able to come up with that puck. Corralled by Wierinski. Turned over at the line. Walking back in. Donskoy. He's bumped. Jenner and Donsko come together. Alexiak feeds far side and it's ripped in. Donsko behind the net. That's true. Shot from a sharp angle off the side of the goalpost there. Jake Bean. Out of difficulty. Sends it to center. Knocked down here by Hoffman. Gregory Hoffman. Trying to get something going quickly. Off the wall. Alexiak. Hustles into the corner. Finishes the check there on Bayreuther, but it's Sillinger away. Cole Sillinger sidesteps the first attacker. Appleton comes up with the puck. Sillinger trying to get that puck. As it's dumped deep, goes off. Yeah, good job by Cole there pursuing that puck. Here's Nyquist with the steal. Winberg right there, goes on. Below the goal line, trying to fight off. Danforth and the puck is sent to center. Cylinder drops it right back here for Gabriel Carlson. A little dish to the far side for Bayreuther. Quick feed. Nyquist got a stick on it to redirect it deep. No ice in here. And the puck quickly moved up ice. Left wing feed and across the line. Aiden Fleury defending here as Robinson comes in one on one. And the puck goes out of play. We've got 11 minutes, 11 seconds remaining here in the third period. Morgan Geeky takes a hit from Corrali. The chip on Peak. Peak's a defenseman up in the play. And then from here, you got to credit Appleton. He's got Gabrikov on him. He sees Geeky coming through the middle of the ice, and Geeky gets inside on Hoffman. But the play by Appleton as he spins up away from Gavrikov, and Gavrikov does the right thing because he's the only defenseman back. That play to the middle, and then Geeky puts it away. That was 23 seconds after the power play goal. The Blue, Blue Jackets still lead by one, but gave up two quick ones there. And Seattle seems to be uh, pushing a little more. What do you think, Jeff? Absolutely. Yeah. They have carried the play here in period number three, no question. Here they are down low in the centering pass. Schwartz in the blue paint. Quick feed here for Adam Larson. Everly. Puck knocked down by Gabrikov. Everly and Gabrikov continue to battle. Out of the corner, sent up high here for Larson. Puck gets away from him. Robinson will use his speed. Comes down the wing. Moves in. Fires. He looked far corner. Did not miss by much. Corrali, good hustle to keep it in. What a hustle by Dunn to get across and help old Larson. Here's a quick attempt by Corrali, gloved and held by Grubauer. I'll tell you what, Larson tried to play that off his skate, and it just bounced right off it, and as he lunges for it, there's no chance. 
But look at Dunn come across with stick on stick. Comes out of nowhere. He's got the speed, Robinson. Boy, does he have it. Creates some opportunities, doesn't he? And I, you know, talked to Sean Crowley today about how, trying to use that speed. He said, he said exactly. We're just trying to spring him into that offensive zone. Certainly has some speed and some jets on the other side as well. But Texier across the line. Oh, quick shot. It's fun to watch him skate. I mean, it's just power. There's the captain, Giordano. There's a captain in Calgary for eight years. Norris Trophy winner. A guy that just willed his way into the National Hockey League and has really had a great career. Now a centerpiece of this expansion franchise. Undrafted. Look at that. Going to close in on a thousand games here. It's going to get it this year if he stays healthy. Get undrafted. And that's the impressive part with players like that. Right. A thousand games, Norris Trophy. That's quite a career. And then, of course, he gets picked up in expansion. You've got to have cornerstone pieces. That yeah, Grubauer is a great pickup. Everly's been a nice pickup for sure. Longtime Oiler. Ended up in the, on the island. Now, Ron Francis has done a pretty good job yeah, he here. Sure has. You know, didn't have the uh, advantages that uh, Vegas got coming in with all the prearranged trades beforehand. NHL teams learned their mistakes from that time. And we're a little more protective of their draft picks. We'll step aside. There's 9.56 left here in the third period. It's a one goal game. Well, simply bring your group of 10 or more to a Blue Jackets home game. Visit bluejackets.com slash groups and learn more. I like the hat on that lady and the homage uh, face mask. Yeah. How about hat the hat? ice here, Jeff? Yes, that's been quite the topic for us here over the oh, last... Oh, you've really dug in on this 24 one. 24 hours. It's rainwater collected on, that runs off the roof. They collect it in a tank. We talked to the guy who makes the ice. He said, I can't tell you the secret what we've added. But he thinks it's the cleanest water in the National Hockey League. And we spoke to the players. They love the ice here. They said that yesterday, at leaving the ice and today, Gus Nyquist said, best ice we've seen might be the best in the National Hockey League. It doesn't snow up as much. Uh, it's firm. It doesn't crack under their skates as much. So they're on to something here at Climate Pledge Arena in Seattle. The system built was over a million dollars to build. And uh, collecting that ice, and then the magic formula. The players have been impressed with the ice here. It rains a lot here, so there's no shortage of that rainwater. You know, maybe it's something that the National Hockey League will look at. Certainly it rains in Columbus, particularly this time of the year. Can you take the snow and... Transform that into ice. Truck it from Seattle. We've got plenty. <laughs> <laughs> Long way to go. Yeah. Left wing. Puck is picked up there by Nyquist. Down the right side. Nyquist. Ridden off of the play by Lausanne. Out to center. Gathered up here by Peak as he backhands his way into the zone before dumping it deep. Hayden Fleury. With a quick feed. Blows on. Trying to find the handle. Second effort. He's able to send it back to the Columbus side. Banked off the wall. Waiting there is Cole Sillinger. Sillinger shot towards the net. Karam's wide. Appleton bumped off the puck on the right wing. Franken come away nonetheless. At the line. Jackets deny them. And Vorchek sweeps in deep. Less than eight to go now. Third period regulation time. One goal game. Winberg fights off the check. Circles his own net before dishing. Larson sends it high and out. Bouncing puck settled down by Bayreuther. Off the wall. Voracek cannot corral it. Touch pass. Walking in. Johansson <laughs> tried to walk around Gabriel Carlson. He wasn't buying. Not at all. He just sat him down. Roslovic across the line. Crowd again looking for a penalty to be called. Here's Voracek. Slides it back end ahead. Roslovic for Domi. He's got a pair of goals here tonight. Wristed and held with 7.14 left. Hey, 
Joe Hansen trying that little toe drag between the legs and Gabriel, Gabriel Carlson textbook. Look at him right in the shoulders, right between the, right in the middle of the chest and drop him. Good strength by Gabriel. You know, they're already ready here. We talk about the arena. They're ready to uh, welcome an NBA franchise here. Same ownership group, uh, certainly pursuing that. They feel it'll be two or three years. There's an interesting sidelight to that. Shaquille O'Neal is helping the local group in their attempt to bring the NBA back. He also already has a tie to this arena. He has his chicken company serving on uh, a couple of the floors here in the building. Down the right wing, Yorkstrand. It's supposed to be pretty good chicken. Yeah, they have a, um, they've already got the locker room in the building for uh, an NBA team. It's already built. WNBA plays here. Got a number of uh, finished locker rooms. They really did it right here. All they need now is a team. Quick shot, save. Oh, nice move by Elvis to bat it away. Rolling puck. Those basketball guys love hockey, don't they? Shaquille O'Neal. Left wing at center. I think so. Puck is deep. Gabrika. Out to center. Puck dumped back. Looking for an entry here. They wrist it in. Goes off a leg. And the Jackets will quickly march it right back out. Or will they? Gabrika. Peak. Robinson. Charles Barkley. He loves hockey. See him with the great one. From some of the national telecasts. Says he'd rather watch playoff hockey than NBA basketball. Well, that's great. Well, here's now this, the Blue Jackets out. Just trying to get things sorted out in the middle of the ice. What Elvis batting that away. Impressive play there by Giordano. Toe drag in the middle, trying to tie things up. But Elvis has had a night, Jeff. He has kept them in this hockey yeah, game in really, the first period. Really, yeah, that's made some good saves early. Seattle's got the last two. Shot sailed high and wide. Donato waits on the left wing. Less than five and a half left. Alexiak cannot corral the puck. It's on the wing. Donskoy fails to get it. Jackets keep it in. Oh. Danforth just showed patience there and then fired it off the side of the net. Yeah, he made it look like he was going to pass and kept that puck on his forehand and ripped it. Danforth sends it in front. Grubauer, a little house cleaning. Now Bean will wrist it high. Back it's on the prowl looking for that insurance goal here with less than five to go. Sillinger from the left wing. Oh, sent it off the side of the net. Alexiak could not clear. Nyquist, Alexia. Oh, he lost the puck there to Danforth. Danforth will deal it up high. Warinsky, quick shot there by Bean. A couple of attempts by Bean. And finally, the crowd happy as the zone was clear. But the Jackets are going to march right back in. Warinsky, he's got Nyquist with him. From behind the net, Adam Larson. Tanev cannot corral it. Roslovic hands it off. Jack now sweeps it off into the corner. Alexiak, a long shift for him. Yeah, can't get organized to get out of the zone or pass the center red line. Puck knocked down. Yarncroft waits for reinforcements, looking for support. Sends it up high. Larson looks. Left circle scores. They tie it up. Done. Uh, the Blue Jackets with an extended shift down. In Seattle's zone, and as Seattle comes down and bumps it wide, the Blue Jackets get back, but Larson sells shot the whole way. Elvis has to come to his right. He's set, but he can't pick it up. Over the pad, under the glove. Vince Dunn with his third of the season. And we're tied at four. Uh, pretty good shot by Dunn, but what a play by Larson. Set that up. It was a play in the middle of the ice to kick it wide. And that shot just inside the post past Elvis. Went back to where we started. The Blue Jackets had the Seattle team hemmed in their own zone for quite a bit of time. 
And they get down the ice and they tie it up. And here now McCann. Puck rolls away. York strength. Along the boards. Oliver sends it high, but not out. Giordano will let one fly. Off a leg, another attempt on the backhand. And Elvis dives to make that spot and make the save. 3.33 left. Larson and Yarncroke draw the assists on the goal. Holiday back includes two tickets to two games of your choice. Each pack includes an exclusive limited edition Blue Jackets homage t-shirt. Visit bluejackets.com slash holiday and get yours now. You know, we've talked a lot about the building, Jeff, but the fans right now, and the Seattle Seahawks have the 12th man. Right. And right now, pretty cool standing ovation as these fans are just giving it all. They've been pretty quiet most of the night. Yeah, they have. Well, they've certainly come to life here in the third. As have the Kraken and a quick shot off the pad of Elvis. Robinson corrals it at center, dumps it deep. Who by Grubauer. Tanner tied up there by Gabrikov. Tip pass. Yarko across the line on the left wing, looks down low. Iki head to the front of the net, but he was tied up. Corrali will drop it. Gabrikov. Peak, left wing feed. Robinson pressured there by Alexiak. Puck gets away from Appleton. Here's Texier. Down the wing. Wenberg chopped it off his stick. Appleton the other way. Appleton across the line. Poke check there. Wierenski able to break up the attempt. Puck is dumped to the open corner. Wenberg in pursuit. Alexander Wenber had it swept off his stick. Jake Bean now fights off on the check and gets it out to center. Larson looking to hit on the right wing. Comes back for a second time. Appleton is tied up by Boone Jenner. Jenner not happy as Appleton was holding onto his stick. Wanted a call there. 2.15 left. Good play by Bean behind the net to pick the pocket, pick the pocket of Alexander Winberg. There you go. I got it. <laughs> and then made the play to get it to neutralize. As it looked like Appleton was going to dance in. So the faceoff outside Columbus territory. Jackets control. Peak pressure coming from Schwartz. Danforth dumps in. Racken now. Sweep it out to center. Everly was tied up. Could not play it. Battle ensues along the wall. Everly. Poke check there by Gabrikov. Jack it. Sweep it away. Reading in there at the line was Sillinger. On the turnover. Everly will dump in. Everly now down the wing. Jack it. Break it up. Schwartz slides it into the right wing corner. Blows off. Tied up. Sillinger will drop it. Peak will retrieve below the goal line. Both teams change up. 90 seconds left. Gabrika steps to center. A 4-4 tie. 4-1 Columbus after 40. Three unanswered goals to this point by the Kraken to tie it up. Texier behind the net. Alexiak is there. Sent up high now. Bean. Bean floats one in off the pad. Grubauer never saw it. But was able to play it off that right pad. Now, Wierenski with a shot. And it ricochets off into the right wing corner. Jacket sends it back up high. Now Zach again. Less than a minute to go from the wing. And it ricochets all the way back into the Columbus end. And it'll be picked up there by Bean. In the final minute. Puck is thrown deep. Wierenski hanging on. Sends it cross ice. Jenner picks it up at center. Crosses the line. Drills one in on Grubauer. Fought off the shoulder of Grubauer. Back comes Seattle the other way. Appleton with a quick feed. Wenberg knocked away from him. Giordano feeds ahead. And Appleton sends it below the goal line. The final 20 seconds of regulation. Gregory Hoffman. Left wing out to center. Appleton defending. Hoffman. Appleton's lost his stick. Well, he had to let it go. He would have got a hooking penalty. Along the wall. Kind of lucky he didn't get one there. Final seconds. It's a great point. 
And for the second consecutive game, the Blue Jackets are going to go beyond regulation. Yeah, the Blue Jackets had a 4-1 lead. Now it's 4-4, and they're headed to overtime. They do secure a point here. There's a shot. Bubar, you know, he's confident in his positioning in this play. Knows where the puck's coming, but not really when it's where it's at. But he makes that save with his pad, and then how about poking it away? So good push by Seattle. Blue Jackets now get ready for some three-on-three -three action. And we'll return with just that after this short break. Look at these guys. Max Domi, the veteran. Where this is a great, you know, it's a good line. It's not a lineup. Bjorkstrand and Jenner play together. Bjorkstrand got things going, and Boone Jenner just great plays in the neutral zone on both of Bjorkstrand's attempts at one goal, and then Domi with the two goals. I like Jenner's play on both of their goals. That's what I'm trying to say. But ready for overtime here. Boone Jenner last time took the face off and went off. I'm not sure why. I'd like to see him stay out there, Jeff. Oh, for sure. He's got 11 goals, but we'll see what he does here. This is the first game in franchise history that the Kraken have gone beyond regulation on home ice. And they carry it on the wing. Centering pass, Everly. Everly almost turned it over there to Jenner. Schwartz has got a goal. Looks down low. Everly. Everly throws it right across the goal mount. Giordano. Far side for Everly. Bjorkstrand, Marinsky, and Jenner. He remained out here. Larson heard you. <laughs> Quick shot. Save. Elvis has got it. He's going to hold and face off in Columbus territory. Well, he mentioned their first overtime ever on home ice. Yeah. Remember their first overtime in franchise history? Elvis. Yes. Columbus. Guy by the name of Patrick Line. That's right. With the game. I knew goal. you'd remember. I knew you'd remember. Here's the play. Schwartz attacks. Elvis is there with that routine butterfly save. Here's Corrali to take the face off. Does what he does well. Oh, he's gonna get off or is he gonna stay on? Oh, he's gone. Here comes Domi. Bean for Laura Jack. Jake Voracek will lead the rush up ice. Steps to center. Head up at the line. Looks off Domi. Hands it off here to Bean. Bean walks to the net and scores! In overtime, Jake Bean and the Blue Jackets prevail, winning 5-4. That was all Jake Voracek, ladies and gentlemen. As the Kraken have not won at home on a Saturday night, and that streak's going to continue. Yeah, Jake Voracek all the way. Changes speed, backed off the defenders, and just passed it with authority to Jake Bean. Right there. And Bean now has got everyone backed off. Johansson is actually providing the perfect screen to start. This is where Jake slowed it down. And there, what a shot. Wow. There's Jake. He's going pretty fast here. You can't tell because of slow motion. There he stops up. Now the defensemen are so far back. He's got all that ice to work with. And what a read by Jake Bean and what a flip. Grubauer. Jackets win in overtime. And Jake Bean, you could see him in that third period in the final minutes. Got a couple of quality shots. He was not going to be denied an OT, and the Blue Jackets prevailed.